Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Today we are talking about an incredible achievement by ISRO for which we Indians should be proud of. This is not just any other achievement as even Elon Musk who is CEO of SpaceX came on Twitter and congratulated ISRO. The test is an important milestone of ISRO's Gaganyaan mission. The long duration test firing of the core engine is especially important towards gaining more confidence towards the engine's performance and reliability to ensure it does not shut off immediately after the lift off from the launch pad. The news broke out after the ISRO on Wednesday announced that it had successfully conducted the third long duration hot test of liquid propellant vikas engine as a part of the engine qualification requirement for its gaganyaan program as per their official statement on july 14 2021 isro has successfully conducted the third long duration hot test of liquid propellant vikas engine for the core l110 liquid stage of human rated GSLV MK3 vehicle as a part of the engine qualification requirements for the Gaganyaan program the engine was fired for a duration of 240 seconds at the engine test facility of ISRO's propulsion complex Mahendragiri in Tamil Nadu performance of the engine met the test objectives and the engine parameters were closely matching the predictions during the entire duration of the test now most of us normally won't understand the importance of this test but need not to worry as we will be explaining you in detail about it this development is an important step towards the isro's gaganyaan program the normal rockets that can carry a commercial payload such as satellites to space experiences higher g loads or you can say gravitational loads however the same rocket cannot be used for human space travel as these loads cannot be tolerated by human being in a rocket which carries humans the load is limited to 3 to 4 g or 3 to 4 gravitational loads trajectory of the rocket will also be different it will be little modified to reduce the g loads experienced by the astronauts this trajectory modification requires a longer engine burn duration therefore it's important to test engine performance endurance considering the above challenges that need to be catered for human space travel now talking about the vikas engine it is the work horse of liquid rocket engine powering the second stage of india's polar satellite launch vehicle psv second stage and four strap on stages of geosynchronous launch vehicle gslv and the twin engine core liquid stage l110 of gslv mk3 vikas is the most reliable engines in the world and has proven its metal if you look at pslv gslv mk2 gslv mk3 missions where vikas was used the burn profile or the duration is approximately around 150 to 160 seconds only on a typical flight now the testing its performance above its desired operational limit that is for almost 240 seconds is essentially to ensure the engine reliability against any event of mishap so qualifying for a long duration burn increases the confidence on the engine to human rated isro is also working on a semi cryogenic engine se200 which will replace vikas engine in future this was today's update please let us know what is your views about these in comment section feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.